So we're going to concern ourselves with this problem today, which is about useless Turing machines in some sense. Uh, we have inputs that are a Turing machine with a state, and the quantification is M is a Turing machine and never enters Q on any input whatsoever. Okay, so you may think, well, uh, what are we going to do with this? We're going to show that this is undecidable, which is kind of amazing if you think about it. It's applicable to our programming in that we want to figure out whether some piece of code is actually executed at some point. And this tells us effectively that it's undecidable. And you, you may think, well, how do we show that this is undecidable? Well, we need to be able to use a known undecidable problem to solve this guy. So how are we going to actually do that? Well, the, well, the key here is to notice that this says on any input at all. So is there a state that we actually care about in Turing machines that uh, whether or not it actually goes to that state or not? And cl clearly the accept state is the one because if it enters there, then we can figure out whether or not M accepts W. But the quantification here is over any input whatsoever. So we can't really use ATM for this because that has a specific input. Here we want to say no input goes there. And that's what the emptiness problem for Turing machines is. So we, we're going to suppose then that some machine U uh, will decide this guy. So let's say U decides useless. Then let's try to solve the emptying problem. And it's actually very, very quick. So we're going to try to decide the emptiness uh, question, so ETM. And remember, for ETM, it takes a single Turing machine M, where M is a Turing machine. Then we need to, what we're going to do is, well, in order to use utilize this supposed decider, we need to provide a state and uh, sorry, a Turing machine in a state of that machine to it. Well, let's just feed M and its own accept state. So feed uh, M and Q accept in, oops, into U where Q accept is the accept state of M. So we're just feeding this guy into U, which supposedly can figure out whether M ever enters the accept state on any input whatsoever. And that figures out whether or not the, the language is actually empty or not. So let's actually figure out what happens. So if U accepts, which is a funny English sentence. <laughs> so if U says, yeah, uh, M never enters this accept state ever. Well, then that implies that the language of M is empty because it never hits the accept state on, any, on anything. And so therefore we need to say accept here because we're trying to solve the emptiness question. So if, it, if U accepts, then that means that the language of M is empty, which is what we're trying to decide in the first place. And if U rejects because it's a decider, it has to do one of the two then very similarly, we're going to reject also. Purely because if it rejects, then that means there is a string that hits here in this state, which means that the language of M is, is obviously not empty. And we know that ETM is undecidable, so useless TM is also undecidable. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave comments about useless Turing machines in the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.